story. A story of an, of an Olympiad, a warrior. Many suns, moons, and equinoxes ago, the ancient Greeks lit a flame. This shimmered and dazzled and burned brightly. A gladiator then touched his sword upon the cauldron. This then heated his sword, white hot orange, and travelled up his arm, passed through all his veins, and embedded itself within his cast iron heart, and through each of the vein crowds. The Olympiad, he had many victories within the Colosseum. And un one day, under the sunlit Parthenon, the gladiator fell. One final time, after many days of nights of glory, he fell upon his knees, he crumpled, his sword in hand, and the blood, sweat, and pride dripping into the Colosseum floor. He cracked and crumbled to dust onto the Colosseum floor, just like the face of a cliff into the sea. And with this, the dust of the Olympiad was born. Aeon was passed, and the ruins of the Colosseum now stand before you and me. But on a calm day, an energy stirred, a force blew, a warm Mediterranean updraft which held the ancient Olympians' desires of passion and glory as that day he fell in 776 BC in Olympia. A dust rose and danced upon the sky with breeze. The wind stirred and entrapped within the kinetic force were strength, unity, love, hope, endurance and perseverance. This wind was blown across oceans, across deserts, across rivers, across lands, across rainforests, across vast spanning bridges, across illuminated cities and darkened village, across concrete, across grass, mud, brick and glass, past all the species, from amoebas to fish to elephants, to giraffes to birds to primates, from north to south to east to west, sprinkling the dust of the Olympiad upon everything that the light spectrum touches in bronze, yeah, silver and golden colours as if a crystal prism hey, was so on. hanging <laughs> just above the earth and reflecting the light from the sunlight upon everything it rests upon. The dust now settles just for a time, just for a time to touch us here upon these grand days of games. The dust is now the wind you can feel that blows through the underground, which you can feel upon your face as the tube train races through a station. The dust has touched the face of Big Ben and heard the ring of his bells. The gust is the wind that sweeps down the man across the rooftops of Buckingham Palace to where the sovereign lay. The dust brushes upon the door of number 10 Downing Street and leaves residue. The wind then rises up the steeples of the Houses of Parliament. The dust spins the London Eyes pod, touching the passengers inside at its highest point. The dust is now the gust which blows the raindrops upon the commuting passengers' face as they shield it with an umbrella. The dust blows through the inner city tower blocks and touches the families upon their balconies to the spray paint on the walls outside. The dust blows through the black taxi cab to the corner where Hyde Park's grassroots lay. The dust is now the sparkle which radiantly reflects upon Britannia's shield and into the lion's heart lay clean by, by her side. Okay, right. The dust then settles upon our great Colosseum just for a time and touches the flame with a gentle breeze, not to disturb it, but to let it breathe more and to know that it is there and it still encapsulates the essence of 776 BC in Olympia. The dust remains within each gladiator who dares to own the day and claim the night as his or her own. The dust of the Olympiad will soon again begin on its journey. But for now, it is ours. Woo! Woo!